himself. He uh, is the mayor of trade meat and a good man, so I hear. Why would people be frightened of me, then, if they suspect a druid grove of all this? People aren't sure who's behind all this evil. They suspect a druid grove, but they see spies and dark magic everywhere. I'm just saying be careful. Uh, I already talked about that, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Certainly I understand that you're the reason I have anything on my shelves at all, so you're more than welcome to buy as you please. Okay, let's uh, sell things, I guess. If I have anything to sell, just a couple of necklaces should be good for this general merchant. Please take that. I'm gonna have to just throw it away. And that is all I picked up. Ah, Christ. Wait, he's got some plus bullets. There were 930. Plus arrows are 620? Wow. That's a lot cheaper, I thought, than they were. Piercing arrows are that worth that much? He's got some neat stuff. Dwarven Thrower. We don't have anyone that throws things. And I kind of like my hammer anyway. You are not old enough to know, but, but, uh... No patience give me some direction. Yeah, let's go to Logan Copper's house. Yeah. I think it's right here. Last I remember he was in this room. Greetings once again. Anything you could do to help the druid, that druid would also help us. See to it that he succeeds. I thank you for your efforts. Oh, so I've already busted that druid out. Who is this? I really don't know what to do about the druids over there. Ah, you are the stranger I am told that has solved a rather thorny problem for us, whether you are aware of it or not. Those Dao Jin you dispatched came here recently from Kalamshan in the pursuit of a Rakshasa, I am told. They decided to set up shop here and proceeded to take over all business. They bribed all the caravans to go to them only, ruin, ruining any of our other merchants. Nothing could be done, especially with all these animal attacks keeping Lord Copperth busy. But you have solved this problem for me, and I am most thankful. Now, if only the druids could be dispatched so easily, trade meat could return to the prosperity it once knew. Regardless, you are due a reward. I carry Good day to you. As it is. Oh. Your items on the ground. Dropped item on the ground. Okay. So we got a little bit of... Oh, thanks. Uh, a pearl necklace. Wow, she gave him a pearl necklace as a roll reversal. And what is this? A note. And a... Oh, she gave him some stuff, like, for real. Like a fucking stupid little rock. And this, which may be useful. Shield of Harmony. Immunity to charm, confusion, domination, and hold person. Armor class 3. Very light. Not usable by a bard druid. The 
thief or a mage. So he can use it. I like his uh, his, his resistances though. This is the same thing, but it's to get resistances instead of that. What about this guy? He can't wear one because he's got a bow. She can't wear this. No missile weapon protection. I'm not giving anything to him because fuck that guy. That's his shield anyway. Would I rather have desist resistances or... Tough decision. I just don't know. We've got a lot of money now. She gave us seventy five hundred dollars. I thought it was experience. Yeah. Maybe it was both. Damn, I really don't know what to do. This has got to be worth money. What was the other stuff? A fucking shitty ring. Proclamation of warning to all. Is this the right thing? This has got to be it. Shadow Council itself decrees that all chapters should be on their guard against the upstart assassin's guild usurping the no guild could rival the shadow thieves so that any that claim as such must have darker motives. That's the only such note that I have, right? That's how the note looked, so... I'm waiting. Not a concern. Alright, well we've got like a whole bunch of money now. That was good that I came here and talked to that person. What about in here in this bedroom? Is there somebody standing in there? Go out of here. I mean, that was nice. I got some stuff that I can sell now. I didn't find any new locations, but I'm going to check out the bar. Again, I didn't really talk to anybody over there. I hope this is worth it. Okay, uh, Alba. Let's I'll talk to Alba. Hey, sexy. Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? You're probably working for those druids, haven't you? Well, uh, if Viatri is willing to serve you, I can too. She just left? Where you're at. I came here to listen to Elanita's music and that be all. It is one of the few pre pleasures we have in this town practically under siege. Oh, here she comes again. Can you talk to the musician? No, because the other lady got in the way. Lady Marana. Is it important? Has be gone, you rabble. There are enough problems in this town without you ruffians adding to things. Tavern drunk. Let's go talk to him. Top of the day to you. And then my party once fought a powerful lich. Yep, boy, he was a tough... Uh, we ran like a flock of frightened chickens, we did. No, uh, we fought him. We fought him. And the last person here is just another tavern patron. Did I talk to everything I can about uh, this guy? Never had rats. No sorry. What do you know about what's going on here? 
As much as you do, I'd expect. The inn's been pretty quiet since the attack started gearing up. At first, there was just some odd occurrences. A bear attack, some hungry wolves and the like. Since then, there's been masses of creatures that have assaulted the walls, and the militia can barely keep up. People have been getting quite out of hand with their fear. There's been stories of hooded figures amongst the animals. Everyone thinks that means the druids have turned against us. Don't know why. We've always gotten on well enough with the grove. But there's no explaining that to folks. Not when their lives are in danger. They saw a druid during the last attack and would have stoned him to death had Lord Copperth not arrested him. He might be dead yet if people have their way. I don't know what Lord Copperth is going to do with him or how long he can keep up with these attacks. People will start leaving soon, I think. And with that, I'll go outside and we'll be done for today. Or at least for now, for today. I mean, maybe in a little while. Martyr. I, I have nothing you wish. We, we don't welcome strangers here. Not anymore. Not with these beasts turning against us. It's Joaquin's revenge. We've done nothing wrong. Or we've done something wrong. Okay. Well. They always walk away after you talk to them. Peasant. Nobleman. Peasant. Peddler. There's the first guy I went to. Here's the other. Oh, Wallace. Hello, friend. Care to see my wares? Okay. Oh, that's it? Okay. Oh, a diamond? I didn't know I had a diamond. I'll sell that. That really helps that they gave me all that money. Pearl necklace, $300. Rogue Stone. Should I even save this? This is really expensive. Small shifting rainbow colored iridescent gemstone. The fluid shades of color appear almost liquid under normal sunlight. It is truly a beautiful sight to behold. Rogue Stones are extremely rare and are used for the gem jump spell. Hence one of the most sought after gems in the realms. Gem jump. What the fuck is that? Maybe I should keep it. But I'll sell the jade ring because fuck that thing. And then... I don't know about that shield. Should I save it or, leave, or get rid of it? Guild mistress does be telling that you're the folk responsible for closing down the blasted the gym. I think you're in league with the druids, but I can make an exception this once. I wonder why people don't like me. Just because I haven't finished that yet. It's hard to kill those things. It just I couldn't even hurt them. Main one. You gotta kill the main one before you get anywhere. Yeah, I'm just trying to walk around and find people to talk to. They seem to not like me here. Okay, well that was a dead end.
Will they let me go in there? 